tell me about this book. Um, what 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 are the middle school rules of Thomas Morstead? Thomas. Well, well, basically, it's um, it's going from me being born through high school and a lot of the things that I went through and the lessons that I learned. Um, it's it's meant to be a relatively easy read. Um, you know, the target is kind of elementary, middle school, junior high age kids, and um, you know, I just think it's important for uh, kids to you know realize that even professional athletes or people maybe that they that they look up to have. Uh, had struggles and have not felt good about themselves or have been bullied or different things like that. So I think it's important that that they know they're not alone and hopefully that will give them a little confidence and conviction to make it through uh, whatever the the, uh, different situations that they're going through right now. So this is based on your story? This is your story? It is my story, yeah. It is my story. Um, Like I said, it's just all the way through high school and it was really an enjoyable experience with Sean Jensen, the author, of going through and uh, kind of going through all the different stories of how I came to be who I am and all the different people that supported me along the way. Um, It's been really an enjoyable experience doing that. So Thomas Morstead, Saints punter here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, What what about the bullying? Let's go into that because that's so important, certainly when you're talking to kids. I mean, when when you're talking to kids, I mean, I've got an 11, I've got a 9, I've got a 6. When, when one of them feels like they are left out by the group at school, whether it's it, whether they, they legitimately have been left out for whatever reason or they feel it and really haven't been, you know, my wife and I, we have to step in. You know, we always feel like we have to step in and say something. And, you know, I'm not saying they're being bullied, but that may happen down the road. Um, so what, what about this? Because this is so crucial for, for a child's self-worth and for a child's um, confidence level moving forward, Thomas? Yeah, look, I think it's all about having support and encouragement. It's no different than when a kid falls down. It's being there to help lift them back up and encourage them on their way and get them back on their feet. It's the same thing with that. You know, I don't think bullying is necessarily always bad to experience. I think it's good to experience because it gives you a little bit of empathy uh, it's, it's one thing to be told about something, but it's, a, it's another thing to feel it and to feel a little pain and to hurt, and it, and it helps you. It helps shape you. And so I think going through some of those things of being left out or feeling lonely or feeling ganged up on, uh, it's never enjoyable. But I think um, if you have good friends and, and siblings and, and parents and uncles and aunts to kind of help you through those situations, it uh, helps build a bit of empathy, which I think everybody in this world could certainly use a little more of right now. And then feeling, yes, and we'll get to that a little bit more in a second. Uh, you know, an experience of you during a high school football championship, you missed an extra point to tie a game and, and experienced, um, I guess, that. Is that part, that's part of this book as well? Yeah, I would say that was a big turning point in my life. Um, we were in the second round of Texas 5A high school state uh, playoffs. We were playing in the Astrodome. And we were playing against a team called Port Arthur Memorial with a running back that I'd never heard of named Jamal Charles. He ended up being pretty good. <laughs> yes, and, uh, indeed. He, he ran for four touchdowns against us in that game. And uh, anyways, I had a chance to tie it at the end of the uh, – with two minutes left in the game. And um, missed the extra point, hit the left upright. We were playing on NFL post because we were in the Astrodome instead of high school. So if it had been a high school game, that would have been good. And uh, I just remember after the game – not wanting to let that be an excuse and I just took it on the chin and kind of took accountability for it. My whole town was there in attendance and it was uh, wow. really a, a difficult experience, but I think um, just taking accountability for it in the moment um, really helped me on my path. I didn't know it at the time. I mean, I didn't even think I was going to play in college at the time. And uh, that's kind of one of the things I've always went on uh, moving forward. I've always, uh, I've always, you know, tried to put the accountability on myself, even if even if it's not my accountability. I've always tried to do that because, um, you know, excuses are for losers to me. And so you just got to you got to find a way to always put it on your own shoulders. The Middle School Rules of Thomas Morstead is a, uh, a book for kids and it's available wherever they're sold by Sean Jensen and Thomas Morstead. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 